One of the things that we prefer on the W4 over the Keens is the pull option. That's the pull option for the Keens. On the Wonderfold, it's an add-on accessory, but we really love it. It's adjustable, and it's just a more comfortable method of pulling, in my opinion. Um, you can adjust the strap and the height, and it's really easy to take on and off the wagon as they have quick release um, option on there. It also, the Wonderfold has this doggy door that the Keens does not have, which I think is a really great feature. This one is more of an aesthetic preference than anything, but you can see here that the wind cover is just wrinkly and it's outside, so it's very visible. Now, when you roll it up, it looks kind of like this long hot dog. Doesn't really matter that much, but I just really prefer that the wrinkles are not visible. So I like that the Wonderfold has those panels on the inside. Now, something that the Keens definitely got right is this harness. The three to five point option is very easy to use. It's just the same as the Pronto, so we're very familiar with it. And it's just a lot more user friendly. The Wonderfold one falls apart all the time when you're getting babies in and it can be really annoying. Also on the back side here, these straps are incredibly easy to adjust. Aesthetically not as cute, but very functional. We only use the five point harness on the Wonderfold, so we zip tied the shoulder and the waist straps together. It's really hard to use with a wiggly baby if you don't. Now you can see here on the back, the strap adjustment is really hard. It's very tight, small area, and you have to take the seat entirely out to do it. Definitely not as nice as the Keens option. I noticed right away that the Keen seats are more shallow, which for kids with a plumpy butt is not as comfortable. We much prefer the W4 canopy to the Keen style. It's much more customizable. You can get total blackout for naps in there if you want to. You can get a full coverage canopy like from Oso oh Summer like we have. There are other vendors as well, but we really like her quality. You can see here you can adjust it to the height of the children if you'd like to or you can put it all the way down and make this awesome nap space. You put those wind panels down on the inside and it is great for naps on the go. On the flip side, the Keens is limited in its ability to create darkness inside the wagon as there is no coverage on the short ends, as you can see here. We have the older style for the folding mechanism here on the W4. You can see the newer mechanism here. So this older kind of latching system is not my favorite, but it is still preferable to the Keens method. You have to push down here to release some of the tension and then you pull up and that helps you to fold. You can also fold the canopy on the Wonderfold, which means you're never gonna forget a piece of it. You'll never lose a piece of it. It is so dang convenient. And then you push it together and you get a little bit of help to latch it and that's how it stays. It is so easy. As for the Keens, here we go. You don't have to lift these flaps up every time you go to fold it, but these little Velcros are so annoying. They never stay put. Now these are the mechanisms, one on each side that you use to fold the wagon. Folding it is easy enough. It really, really is not hard. These little straps are what drive me crazy. They have these little metal clips that are so tiny, the little pieces you need to squeeze to release. It is so ridiculous. And then the top one is easy enough to do, honestly. The bottom one is where I struggle. The straps here are not easy to adjust the way they are on the family easy, so it's not convenient to just adjust them every time you go to fold the wagon, hence why I didn't do it this time. Other than that, the fold is fine. I like that you can put the basket up. I do wish they had used something a little more luxurious than these Velcro straps because this is the luxury comfort wagon, but it is nice that it folds away very easily. The next issue with the fold you can see here. The darn thing doesn't stay standing. It is not steady. The Wonderfold is. It has a true standing fold, no matter the Elite tires or the XL tires. The Keens does not. You have to align the tires a certain way, and it almost crushed my one-year-old one time. It was so frustrating. So I don't enjoy this kind of fold that doesn't stay put. I gotta tell you, releasing the Wonderfold when it's folded is not painful. This one is sometimes. Those little tiny metal clips just are not comfortable. So once it is released, taking the tires off is actually an advantage for the Keens. It is much easier to remove the tires on the XC Plus than it is on the Wonderfold. You can see how easy it was to remove that big back tire. You can even remove the back axle very easily, which is great, especially because it's so big in the car. Now you can lock the front tires, also an advantage on the Keens. I wish the Wonderfold had that. And removing that front tire is also incredibly easy with that button there on the front. Releasing that fold, very easy on the Wonderfold. You just push down after you release the lever, no problem. Now to release the back tires here, you have to undo the C-clip to fully, and I didn't even fully take it off, to let the back tire come off. And then you have to position it just enough 
so that you can get that clip through there. You can't push it all the way in, at least not on ours, because then the C-clip will not go through. So it has to be positioned exactly right. And for the front tires, you can see this little tiny divot here. Pens work for some people, doesn't work that well for me. I much prefer this kind of tool. It definitely catches that little button easier and you can take the front tire off. Parent storage is another place where unfortunately the W4 does not take it on this one. These pockets and this basket just don't have enough storage options. Whereas the Keens has this awesome basket that has pockets upon pockets. It has that traditional Keens trademark underside pocket there for sandy things, for shoes. I really, really like that. The material is also very high quality. The Wonderfold only has two bench seat pockets, whereas the Keens has four. That's another place that they could improve upon that. And the snack tray, heavy duty snack tray, is included with the Keens, which is also a bonus. Ultimately, if the W4 was made with a better basket, better harnesses, if the snack tray was included, if they added more pockets inside, if they made the strap placement easier to adjust and the tires easier to remove, it would be the absolute perfect four-seater for my preferences. If you're looking for a great stroller and wagon group, I highly recommend you join Stroller Divas and Wagon Queens. It's my group personally, and I can help answer your questions in there. Catch you on the next one. Bye.